Matthew 9, 3. And behold, certain of the scribes said within themselves, This man blasphemes. Mark 2, 6. But there were certain of the scribes sitting there and reasoning in their hearts, Why does this man thus speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God only? A relevant question if they didn't believe that he was God in human form, the Son of God, equal to God. Luke 5, 21. And the scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, Who is this which speaks blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God alone? Okay, that last part is the same between Mark and Luke. It's not mentioned in Matthew, but the first part I have to figure out now. And behold, certain of the scribes said within themselves. So this is as if they're all thinking the same thing. In Mark, reasoning in their hearts, why does this man thus speak blasphemies? Luke then. And the scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, Who is this which speaks blasphemies? Okay, so in Luke, it says that they're speaking amongst themselves, not just in their own heads, but they're having a conversation about it. In Matthew and Mark, they're saying it in their hearts versus thinking. Within themselves, reasoning in their hearts, who is this which speaks blasphemies? This man speaks blasphemies. Why does this man speak blasphemies? Who is this which speaks blasphemies? Okay, so... If I was going to put them all together, I could say certain of the scribes, certain of the scribes sitting there, reasoning in their hearts, reasoning within themselves in their hearts, this man speaks blasphemies. And then I could put from Luke the fact that they also said it out loud and saying, who is this which speaks blasphemies? Oh, you know what? I think I can just put them all together as being said within themselves because Luke says saying, but Matthew says said, within themselves so yeah i'll have it as it is in matthew and mark within themselves and i'll just fit that into luke saying and i'll add within themselves who is this which speaks blasphemies who can forgive sins but god alone oh look at that even in luke it follows by saying and when jesus perceived their thoughts answering said to them okay it's definitely their thoughts all right so how to begin and behold certain of the scribes but there were certain of the scribes and the scribes and the pharisees so i'll add and the pharisees but i think i'm gonna have to behold but behold there were certain of the scribes and pharisees sitting there that's what i have to do instead of the and i'll say the but because this is contrary to the good that jesus is doing they are against it so the but makes more sense than just saying and that word is only in mark is it in luke nope starting with mark but there were actually i'm going to go with behold from Matthew and that comma is in Matthew not in Mark let me take a look at Luke and the scribes in this very okay yeah just just from Matthew Mark there were certain I'll put the comma after behold and then there were and then combine certain from both Matthew and Mark of that's also both the scribes is from all three and now only Luke adds and the Pharisees the scribes said within themselves, the scribes sitting there, reasoning in their hearts, the scribes and the Pharisees began, okay, and the Pharisees began, began said, no, began, or actually I have to put sitting there first, before the word began from Luke. Certain of the scribes and the Pharisees sitting there began reasoning in their hearts, or said within themselves, began to reason, saying, Whereas Matthew just goes into said, Mark, sitting. No, I already said sitting. Sitting there began and. So I definitely have to go with to. Began, began to reason, saying, reasoning in their hearts. Began to reason, began to reason. Okay, that's what I'm gonna have to do. Began to, I'm gonna say began to because it fits better than just going straight into said. So began to, and since I have that, I'm going to continue on with say from Luke. Began to reason. Not began to say. Began to reason. Began and reasoning. Began to, no, it's just going to have to be reason. Reason. Now I'm going to add within themselves or in their hearts. Or in their hearts within themselves. <laughs> we already know their hearts are within themselves. Maybe I should put within themselves, in their hearts. Hmm. Saying. Reason. Comma, saying, reasoning in their hearts. So maybe I should put reason in their hearts, saying within themselves. 
Yeah, that would fit well. That's what I'll do. That way it fits really well with Mark and with Luke and with Matthew. I'll just start right there from Mark in their hearts saying from Luke and then going over because it just goes into saying who is this but I'm gonna add within themselves because it says in Matthew said within themselves which is pretty much the same as saying within themselves it's just it fits better with this sentence to continue the present tense instead of add a past tense said only Matthew has within themselves comma this man blasphemes Oh no, they actually continue in Mark. Why does this man thus speak blasphemy? Who can forgive sins but God only? So in Mark, they just accuse him. In Matthew, they question. In Luke, they question, but instead of saying why, they say, who is this? Who is this? It would fit really well with Matthew and Luke. I could say, who is this from Matthew man, back to Luke, which speaks blasphemies, blasphemies from both. You know what? I'm going to try and fit them all together, as I always do. I'm going to say, who is this man? Who is this? From Luke. And then from Matthew, man. And then I'll start off with Mark. Why does... No, there's no he. They all say this man. I was thinking of having it say, who is this man? Why does he speak blasphemies? But Mark just says, why does this man speak blasphemies? I'm not gonna say, who is this man? Why does, well, actually I could. Who is this man? Why does this man speak blasphemies? Yeah, that actually works. I could do that. Who is this man? And then go into a similar question. Why does this man speak blasphemies? Who is this witch? Who is this, I say, yeah. Who is this man? Why does this man speak blasphemies? Um, okay, so let me do that. I'm gonna just see how it works. Now, I'm gonna have to put a question mark or a comma or something. Why does this man thus speak blasphemies? Maybe I can take a question mark from Luke only or Mark only and then save the other question mark for the end of the rest of the sentence or the next sentence. Why does this man thus speak blasphemies. Well, if I do that, I'm going to keep the question mark, which means that if I'm going to do it, I would take it from Luke. Yeah, I could use the question mark here, only from Luke. Then Mark would continue. Why does this man thus speak? Actually, speak, well, speaks, plural, is in Luke. Thus speak blasphemies. Speak blasphemies. Yep, both. Definitely between Mark and and Luke. So now it reads, But behold, there were certain of the scribes and the Pharisees sitting there began... Oh, wait, that doesn't work. But behold, there were certain of the scribes and the Pharisees sitting there began to reason in their hearts. That doesn't work at all. Sitting there began to reason. If I could say sitting there, who began to reason? That would make sense. And the scribes and the Pharisees began. And behold, there were yeah, began to reason doesn't fit at all. Began to reason. I think I'm just going to have to switch it with Mark. Reasoning in their hearts. Yeah, I just have to do it. It doesn't fit at all saying began to reason. Reasoning. I'll put the comma. Sitting there and reasoning in their hearts. So now it all reads, But behold, there were certain of the scribes and the Pharisees sitting there and reasoning in their hearts, saying within themselves, Who is this man? Why does this man thus speak blasphemies? Yeah, that works. Now I can add that last extra phrase from Mark and Luke, because it's definitely not in Matthew. Who can forgive sins but God only? Who can forgive sins but God alone? I like alone, but the rest of it is the same. Who is not capitalized in Mark? In Luke, it is. I'm going to go with the capital. And I'll say it's both, because it is the same word. Who can forgive sins but God alone? And then only from Luke alone, question mark isn't both.